Alright, hello everyone, this is KG Killer, and I'm going to show you how to change your GPS on Pokemon Go. Now, uh, a couple things you need to know first off is, when you're changing your GPS, you run a very high risk of having your Pokemon Go account banned. And that would fucking suck, because of, like, whoever... Everyone who plays this has put a massive amount of time. There's You can't even deny that. And to lose it would just fucking suck. Even if you don't play the game as much anymore or even at all anymore, it would still suck to lose all of that time and effort. But uh, putting that aside, um, uh, fucking one thing you need to know about... The, what I'm going to show you is you don't want to change your... Now, I live in Courtney, B.C., and you do not er, want to change, like, your GPS location to, for example, in my case, like, random city, San Francisco. It's... Uh, you only want to change your GPS to places where you... Or er, to other different locations in the city that you still live. Um, now, to show you where I am right now, so that, like, as proof, like, that I'm not using it right now and all that bullshit, or proof that it actually works, right after we get through this loading screen, because this is fucking ridiculous, fuck you, Niantic, for this stupid-ass bullshit, come on, anytime now, you're a speedy motherfucker, alright, this is where I am right now, Courtney, BC. As you can see, my town doesn't really have much. Uh, where I'm going to change my GPS has a lot more. But this is just where I live right now. Uh, and actually, right over here uh, is a really good uh, pokey spawn spot, but anyways, that's besides the point, uh, fuck, getting way off topic, um, but that's just proof of showing where I live, and that this is where I am right now, okay, now I'm gonna show you how do you actually change your GPS, now, you're gonna need to install Go GPS. you'll see it on the screen there, just under play games, uh, you can literally just download it in your Play Store. Uh, go GPS. Boom. And, yeah. This is literally the only one that i found that actually works. Um, the arrow key uh, analog, or touchscreen analog, whatever the fuck you want to call it, is really finicky. But that's really the only thing that I've really found that's really fucky with this app uh you'll see all of this shit blah 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 yeah, yeah. showing you all your shit yep yep all right anyways uh yeah so you can just literally download it right in google play i don't know if this works on apple because i'm not an apple person i actually cannot stand apple uh, so I have no idea how this works, or even if it works on Apple, this is just for Android. But anyways, now, another, er, after you install that, you're going to want to go into your settings. Uh, you're going to want to go to, uh, model number, you're going to click it, fuck, I probably did it about five six times I don't know um and then after you do that it's going to come up with uh, just above about device there's developer options now before um you heard before you did the mass amount of clicks on model number developer options was not there uh that's the only reason you'd click on model number that many times was just strictly so that you could get developer options in your settings like gain access to it anyways you go into developer options now you're going to go to mock location app you're going to click on mock location app 
and it's going to come up with a select application. You're going to select Go GPS, and now exit all that shit and go to Go GPS. All right. Uh, yes, there is ads. I'm going to skip that. Uh, there's not ads while you're doing it. It's just literally while you're in this shit right here. It's a pain in the ass. But when you're actually in the Pokemon Go app, they don't come up. Alright, so I'm going to go way the fuck over uh, to the harbor in Comox. Uh, and I'm just going to click my location. For example, right there. Then you're going to go down and you're going to click on this little triangle play key in the bottom left corner just under the location symbol thing. You click that. Um, I don't bother with walk, pokey, sniper. It's just, it's pointless. I just click on walk. You click walk, it's going to come up with this shit. You see this, this is your controls and all that. I'm going to get more into that in a sec. You go to Pokemon Go, and now you open up the app. Now, what the mock location does is it actually, uh, whatever you set the location to on uh, Go GPS, because you've set that app to your mock location, that now basically controls where your location is like if you want to you could set it for in the states i highly don't or i highly don't recommend it but whatever so yeah as you can see this is way better than where i live uh and by the way yes i do still go out and play pokemon go and all that shit when i'm out and about oh get all that stuff damn that was a lot um but anyways now, here are the controls. Basically, you click on this, and that's just the speed that you walk uh, to... Oh, what the shit? Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh, I haven't had that happen before. That was weird. Um, anyways. Uh, hmm. Anyways, um, this is just basically the speed that you walk. Three would be walking at a car distance, so it's kind of pointless anyways. Um, the controls are, uh, are, like, really weird and finicky. They take a little bit to get used to. Um, but, anyways, just under that is the controls and all that. And, yeah. Yeah, and fucking walk basically anywhere you want. Yeah, no. Oh, fuck. Alright, three. Yeah, okay. And, yeah, move it anywhere you want, so on, so on. I'm going to walk towards that gym. Come on now. Where, oh, it's because I have a little one. Oh, oh, it's doing again. There we go. Huh, that's weird. Never actually had that happen before. Mind you, it just recently updated, so I wonder if that has to do with it. Anyways, whatever, it's not really affecting much it just changes back anyways but yeah um that's uh the pokemon go gps you can see that it works it's fucking dope i would recommend still going out and walking and shit because well that's how the game's actually meant to play or meant to be played but Say, for example, you're in a hospital or something, you can't go out and play Pokemon Go, or you're sick at home, or it's like fucking 5 a.m. and you're still half asleep or whatever, then this app would be a good choice, I suppose. It would be also, also be good for people who are disabled, as in like in a wheelchair permanently, stuff like that. So, if you have a friend or family or someone who has some kind of a restriction that restricts them from going out and playing Pokemon Go, this app, I'd highly recommend. It's literally the best one I've found so far. But enough of that. I'm going to show you how to uh, change your phone 
back over to the original GPS because you don't want to keep it like this. Uh, like, I don't know if that actually affects anything, but I don't, I don't, I personally don't risk it. So I always change my location settings back to how it was originally. Um, it's basically the same process, just but just in reverse, but um, some people might not remember the process, so I'm going to show it to you. Go to here, uh, basically just click pause or exit. Uh, pause, exit, don't matter. Uh, now, back to where I was, um, where I live, but there's still the mock location, GPS, and all that shit to do. So, I'm going to exit out there. I'm going to exit out there. Go to settings. Now you're going to go, I want to go all the way down to developer options. And basically go back to your mock location app and just click on no apps. Boom. Simple. Bowie, bowie, simple. So, yeah, that's how you change your GPS and basically be a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> um, if you liked this video, show support. I'm actually new on YouTube and I'm just trying to get my uh, channel up and running and get some popularity and shit and get recognized and so on. Uh, <laughs> so, if you liked the video, like, share, subscribe. And thank you for your support.